Black holes may have surface features that encode information instead of destroying it. And they might not even have the crushing singularity we've imagined. And what if you're sitting inside one right now? These last years, astronomers are literally rewriting the black hole playbook. So let's jump right into it. For decades, we believed that anything falling into a black hole was gone forever, completely erased from existence. It seemed logical, right? Once you cross that event horizon, you're crushed into oblivion at the singularity. And that's it. Game over. But here's where quantum physics crashes the party and says, not so fast. One of the most fundamental rules of quantum mechanics is that information cannot be destroyed. It can only be transformed or hidden. This created what physicists call the information paradox, a head-scratching contradiction between Einstein's relativity and quantum theory. Imagine throwing a book into a fireplace. The book burns, but technically, all the information about every word, every letter, still exists in the smoke, ash, and heat released. The information is scrambled beyond recognition, but it's still there. Scientists now believe black holes work similarly. New theories suggest that as black holes slowly evaporate through Hawking radiation, they're actually encoding and releasing all that lost information back into the universe. It's like the universe's most complex filing system, storing everything that falls in and eventually returning it through quantum entanglement islands. These are regions where quantum information can escape the black hole's grip, ensuring nothing is truly lost forever. Now, you have probably heard about black holes having hair. What does that mean exactly? For years, we described black holes using just three properties, mass, electric charge, and spin. This was called the no-hair theorem, suggesting black holes were basically featureless, smooth objects. Recent research, however, suggests black holes might have what's called soft hair, incredibly subtle features at their surface that encode information about everything that has ever fallen in. Picture a black hole's event horizon like the surface of a pond. We used to think it was perfectly smooth, but now we're discovering it might be covered in tiny, almost invisible ripples, each one carrying information. These hair-like features could be the key to solving the information paradox. Instead of information disappearing, it gets imprinted on the black hole's surface like a cosmic tattoo. Every particle, every bit of matter that crosses the event horizon leaves its mark in these quantum fluctuations. Scientists are developing mathematical models that show how these features could form and persist, fundamentally changing our understanding of what black holes actually are. Now here's where things get really wild. What if the most terrifying aspect of black holes, the singularity where density becomes infinite and physics breaks down, doesn't actually exist. String theory, one of our most promising theories for unifying all forces in nature, suggests something called the fuzzball theory. Instead of matter collapsing into an infinitely dense point, string theory proposes that black holes are actually massive tangled balls of vibrating strings. Imagine taking a ball of yarn and compressing it down. In our old model, we'd expect it to eventually become a single point. But in the fuzzball theory, the strings resist this compression, creating a dense but finite structure. The black hole becomes more like an incredibly compact, fuzzy sphere of energy and information, or more accurately, a configuration of strings and brains carrying mass and information. This completely eliminates the singularity problem. No more infinite density, no more breakdown of physics, just an extremely exotic form of matter that we're only beginning to understand. The event horizon we observe might just be the boundary where this fuzzball becomes so dense that light can't escape. What's fascinating is that this theory naturally preserves information. Since there's no singularity to destroy information, everything that falls in just becomes part of this cosmic string soup, potentially recoverable as the black hole evaporates. Now we're getting to the absolute cutting edge. In 2024 and 2025, scientists proposed a new hypothesis, the quantum memory matrix. Picture a black hole as the universe's most sophisticated computer. 
This new idea suggests that black holes don't just store matter and energy. They maintain quantum memory cells that keep a perfect record of every single particle that has ever crossed the event horizon. Think of it like a cosmic blockchain, if you will. Every piece of information is stored in quantum states that are distributed across the black hole's structure. As the black hole slowly evaporates through Hawking radiation, it doesn't just release random energy. It's actually downloading its entire memory bank, encoding all that stored information into the radiation it emits. Researchers are actually beginning to test these ideas using quantum computers. They're creating simplified models of black hole physics in laboratory conditions, studying how quantum information behaves in extreme scenarios. Early results suggest that information really can be preserved and retrieved, even from systems that mimic black hole conditions. We're moving toward experimental verification of these ideas, which could revolutionize our understanding of information, entropy, and the fundamental nature of reality itself. But wait, it gets even stranger. Some of the latest models suggest that black holes aren't just cosmic vacuum cleaners, they might be cosmic recycling centers or even universe factories. Enter the concept of white holes, the theoretical opposite of black holes. Where black holes absorb everything and let nothing escape, white holes would do the reverse, ejecting matter and energy into space. Some scientists propose that black holes could eventually transform into white holes, essentially vomiting out everything they've consumed over billions of years. But what if every black hole creates a new universe? This theory suggests that when matter collapses to form a black hole, instead of creating a singularity, it actually punches through space-time itself, creating a new expanding universe on the other side. Our entire universe, with its 13.8 billion years of history, might have been born inside a black hole that formed in some parent universe. The Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything. It was just our universe's birth from a black hole in another reality. This could explain why our universe appears to be expanding. Instead of seeing the aftermath of an explosion, we might be experiencing the ongoing expansion of space inside a black hole that's still growing in its parent universe. Think about it. We live in a universe that's expanding, filled with dark matter and dark energy that we can't directly observe and it all started with a Big Bang that we can't fully explain. But what if the Big Bang wasn't a beginning, but a bounce? What if our universe formed when matter in another universe collapsed into a black hole, and instead of creating a singularity, it rebounded, creating the expanding space we observe today? This theory could explain why the cosmic microwave background radiation looks the way it does, why the universe is so remarkably uniform on large scales, and even why we observe the particular laws of physics that we do. From our perspective inside this hypothetical black hole, we'd experience normal physics, normal time, and normal space. We'd never know we were inside a black hole because that's simply the nature of our reality. The event horizon would be far beyond our observable universe, invisible to us. These revolutionary ideas are completely transforming our understanding of black holes. We've gone from seeing them as simple cosmic destroyers to recognizing them as complex information processes, potential universe creators, and maybe even our cosmic home. The most exciting part? We're living through a golden age of black hole research. With quantum computers allowing us to test these theories, gravitational wave detectors revealing black hole mergers in real time, and new mathematical models providing fresh insights, we're closer than ever to understanding these cosmic enigmas. What do you think about these ideas? Do any of them change how you view our place in the cosmos? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I love hearing your perspectives on these mind-bending concepts. And if you enjoy diving into the cutting edge of black hole physics, you'll definitely want to check out our video on quantum entanglement and how it might connect distant parts of the universe in ways we're only beginning to understand.